as far as hip hop goes, I mean, I look at it like this. Eighties, uh, eighties babies, mm -hmm. some early nineties, depending on what part of where you grew up at. Yeah, you got to think about it. That's that's the last era to get the pimps, the players, the hustlers, and you got, you seen so many strong black men out. I remember that as a kid. Mm -hmm. So, and then I also saw it as a kid to where the game completely flipped. See, right. we we are we on the last one. We the last ones where we got actual the bird understanding knowledge in the game. Right. So that's why it's so much easier for us to slide through business. But you got to understand and realize though, in the eighties and early nineties. Those same people that we saw flip into the game and the dope dealers started being the people that everybody looked up the cars told and all that. These same people were getting locked up for 20 or 30 years. Right. Now you add that to from the 80s, what you got now. Mm -hmm. What you got now. So you have in our community a major bridging gap in communication. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. That's why you have a lot of these old schools saying fuck these youngsters and a lot of these youngsters saying fuck these old schools. But I completely understand both of them. Right. I do too. Yeah. It's exactly why I'm doing it. <laughs> so, what it has to be, and, and there has to be an understanding. Right. I can come with you with my knowledge all day, but we have to be able to sit down and get an understanding first before we can have a conversation. Right. About what the actual problem is. Right. Because if you try to have a conversation with a person that you already don't have understanding with, it's not going to be a conversation. It's going to be an argument. Right. Yeah, because at that point, both parties, that energy that put yeah. into that. And so it's, it's right. mainly up to our generation to bridge that gap of communication. Yeah, I, and I'm so... Because I, I get a last... You know, me being involved mm -hmm. with politics a lot, I get asked by a lot of 50-plus older generations... Mm -hmm. Like, how do we connect to the youngsters? How do we connect to people that are 24, 25? You know, and I kind of give them some game and they look at things in a different light. You know what I mean? I'm like, the, the reasons why millennials, quote unquote, get such a bad rep is because who raised these people? You know what I mean? We right. entitled a lot of our children because we didn't have nothing. You but know see, what I mean? But you got to understand, they had a different part where whether it's technology or streets, the game is different now. Yeah. Technology. And so, <laughs> and so, being at a certain age, you're not going to see down at the bottom what they're actually doing. Right. You're not going to see how, like, you, you got people that's hacking now. Yeah. They get money that way. Yeah. Was that 20 years ago? No. And these youngsters that are actually doing it. Yeah. So they got different ways of getting their money now, so they have different ways of conducting their own business. So how are you going to be an old school and come tell me how, to, how the correct way of me getting my money when I've been already getting it? Yeah, there is. So a, we got to come with an understanding first. Right. That's that's deep. That's that's that's. Look, look, I mean, you you on you on fire, man. Oh, that's just what it is, man. Yeah.